In this video, I want to introduce you to my channel so that you can see where I'm coming from, how I built it, so you can use a lot of the ideas from my channel for your own channel and to grow it. And you see at the time of the filming of this. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. I've got almost 30,000 subscribers and almost 3 million views and I actually have more views. You'll see that in a second, but I believe that because of some earlier deleted videos, some of my views got deleted and I'll show you that in a second. So that's my channel. It's about business. And if you look at my videos here, the video tab, you'll see that there's actually a lot of videos. There's a lot. And there's actually like 700 something videos that I made over time. You can scroll, scroll, scroll. I have interviews. I have videos by myself and you can actually almost see my evolution. Sometimes I put my on personal videos, like a little bit of boxing. I have some cat videos, but mostly it's about business and marketing and it's tutorials. As you can see, a lot of the tutorials are like how to do link building or how to make better business decisions or how to make money online. Here's the 50 ways or, and you know, that's a pretty successful video. You see it got 56,000 views or here's the very next video, right? Introduction to supply chain management. And that only had 300 views. So a lot of the videos, are not successful. And you can see from the numbers, some of the videos are successful. So if like a video three years ago and got a, thou a thousand views, that's not so great. But if a video got 27,000 views, that's a win. That's pretty good. The reason I had so many videos was because I kind of used YouTube as a test to see, is this going to work for me? What topics are going to become popular and how can I improve at making videos? Because when I started, I was absolutely terrible at making videos. So a lot of these are experiments. Some of them worked, a lot of them didn't work. And what I'm going to show you is now the inside analytics of my channel so you can see what worked and what didn't. Here you can see I put a, I selected a lifetime history and even though it says 2008 was when I started, that's really when I made my account and really I started making YouTube videos seriously, maybe 2013. Since then I've been making videos and what I want to show you is you see here, it says on the views, I ordered my mo I ordered this by my most successful ones. And you see here, it says 2 million and 900,000 views. So I'm almost at 3 million. And so I have one video that's like almost, almost like this week is going to be 100,000 views. But we see we, there's a, another video with 90,000, but then we have a relatively steep drop to the 70s, 50,000. Few videos in my channel make up most of the views out of like 700 videos that I made or 800, there's a lot of videos that, are, that have like under a thousand views or under 2000 views. It's just because I had to run a lot of experiments and I didn't know what was gonna work. But over time, I figured out how to target better topics and how to make better videos for those topics so that they would become more successful. And then YouTube would start to recommend them and also those videos will rank in search more. And that was the key to my channel. So it's really everything that I teach in this course. It's YouTube SEO, YouTube recommendations, but more and more so every day, it's the quality of the videos. And I'm an example as good as any that if you can, you can start from any kind of bad level. Like there was, there's nobody when they started who was worse than me at my level of videos was really bad but over time i improved slowly little by little and i literally saw results followed the results followed and this channel makes money with ads now and it makes money by i can sell my coaching services and i sell my books and i sell my products so i've gotten a lot of growth from this channel but it took time and one important thing is when i started when i didn't have a lot of authority didn't have a lot of subscribers what happened was I had to target smaller topics. I couldn't target big topics because they, I just wasn't going to be able to rank for them. My video would get lost. So I would target very niche topics. Like instead of how to write a business plan, I target how to write a business plan for a coffee shop. I'll actually show you that video. Let's just search for it. And you can see that I'm still number four and you can see the video production is really bad. And maybe I even look younger because it really was like four years ago from the time of me filming this now. It was one of my early experiments and you know, 16,000 views that it's gotten is not bad, but over four years, it's also not that great. But I had to go long tail on my keywords at first and then I had to go shorter tail. So I, now I'm able to rank for keywords like business plan or art and similar keywords. So the bigger your channel gets, the easier that it becomes for you to 
rank and get views for larger topics. So that was my, one of my strategies is to really go on niche topics initially. And that's how I got a lot of my early views and subscribers. And that it was the momentum I used to then get more and more subscribers and more and more views for new videos. And the takeaways that I'd like you to have is really that for every video that I made, I pre-planned it for at least some quality, at least some structure, but largely also for SEO keywords. And that gave every video long-term life because you see this video is still getting views. It's still ranking because I did the right SEO for it. So four years later, even though this video is pretty bad on, in quality, like look at this, you can see I'm like in some forest, like I had a weird background and I really didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't showing anything. I was just talking, talking. It was very boring. It, this is a six minute video. Most likely I can say the same things now in two minutes. There's a lot of things that I did wrong in this video, but because I did the right SEO, I'm still getting a relatively good amount of views on this video. So that's the strategy for my channel. A lot of videos and slowly improving and improving and improving. And once you make more videos, get more subscribers, keep trying to rank for SEO, and then you can target bigger and bigger topics. And as long as you keep making videos regularly all the time, then YouTube will start loving you. It will start getting you a lot of traffic. And I still get about 50,000 views a month. And so it just keeps accumulating and accumulating. And that's something you can do yourself. And as long as the quality of your videos is great, you can do way better than I did even.